thoughts on, on tonight's game? A great workout, a great opportunity for the for the players to have a look at the uh, from a team two levels uh, above, and it shows uh, how, how good they are and, and where we need to strive to get to. The, as a workout, excellent. Uh, as a mental test for the, for the players and a tactical test for the players, uh, again, uh, excellent. Exactly what we needed. And again, the, the thing is, that I've gone in and said to the players, you got to, you know, to look forward to now is you have got a Premiership team coming uh, coming yeah. on Saturday. So, so no, uh, it's an exercise done because you know, we wanted to test ourselves and we want to see we want to see the players stretch to the maximum and, ex uh, and expose. And yeah, again, too much effort Wednesday. Arguably, you probably say the wrong time to play them is when yeah. they're having when the managers just come out and. They, uh, the players will probably know that the next potential manager uh, will be sat in the stand. Yeah. Um, so, so, so again, no, but no, a good test. Again, when you uh, when you think you know, we're finishing the game with six prodigies from the uh, from the youth academy uh, yeah. on the field of play, you know, again, it shows. But, um, the belief and the trust that we've got in uh, in the youth system coming through, and, and, and again, so no, lots of positives to take from it, even though, uh, even in the face of a defeat. Yeah, you, you said you wanted to test exactly what you got. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday got some quality players: Barry Bannon, Jordan Rhodes, Stephen Fletcher. How, how did you feel your team coped coped with those players? Yeah, well, again, uh, at times we got exposed, yeah. uh, but we know if you have a look uh, physically, um, technically, we're playing against a team that are levels above us. They move the ball exceptionally well. The good appreciation of the passes, uh, their movement off the ball when in good, uh, good possession uh, is, uh, is excellent. Uh, they know how to run people away. They know how to play for, uh, like I said, with the rotation, they're good people to come in, uh, when to play one and two touch passes, and sometimes it's difficult to get anywhere near them. Uh, yeah. but, so, so, no, a, a very good test. And I thought you played some good stuff, so especially in the first half. You, you threatened them a few times, didn't you? Yeah. Um, they're good players, physically, technically, tactically. Um, uh, we, we were stretched and tested, but, but that is exactly what pre-season games are for. Yeah. Hey, arguably, you say a lot of players would have walked off. They say yeah, uh, they're happy they're not playing against that week in, week out. But, but again, but that's part of our development. Yeah, we, we, we want to strive. Uh, obviously, we look back through, through the game. There, we see some of the some of their possessions, some of their passages in play, some of their movement, some of their dynamics, uh, and their understanding about when to get in behind people. Uh, it's excellent to learn from. Uh, in, on an individual front, I thought Sean McWilliams, Chris Hines, and a few others had some good, good games out there. Yeah, no, but yeah, yeah, good games. And again, it's, um, as, a, as a team, as a squad, we, we, we were tested and stretched, and, and that's what we, uh, the, the pre-season was designed for. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, you could come there, we could go away, we can go and play teams from from low, and we can build up build up momentum and build up build up confidence. But, you know, and go and, I mean, you know, our first game against Selby, and you go and get, win eight games. Uh, my mindset is, I want to see us exposed. I want to see us stretch. I want to see how we cope. And, I, uh, and, uh, and how we adjust on the pitch, our decision making. Yeah. In terms of the progress of pre-season, you've obviously just come back from Spain. That was your third pre-season. How, how do you think the progress is, is going so far? Yeah, very good. Um, again, we've got a lot of players that are joining uh, that have joined this year, and getting that. Um, so we've got a squad of players, and we're turning them into the, the, the team ethic, um, and, and them getting an understanding of what we want to do, how we want to play, uh, and, uh, and how we want to defend, uh, and all those things do, uh, do take time. And again, games like this again gives us a better understanding. Standing as well. And you had Curtis Yebley on trial again tonight. What's the situation there? Because he's been on trial for quite a long time. Yeah, but again, again, another player that can make a decision. We weren't going to make, never going to make decisions on players based on the uh, the, the Selby game. Um, so, so it's against uh, us having Curtis for a period of time to have a look at him against uh, against good opposition. And also Robbie Simpson was on the bench tonight. Is it easier another one you're looking at? Yeah, uh, and, uh, another another player that's, uh, that's we've in, uh, given an invitation to come and train with us a bit to build up his fitness. Uh, and then obviously then you know, Robbie is uh, uh, he is in demand by other, other, other football clubs. Uh, and the players that missed out tonight: Alan McCormack, Charlie Good, Reese Hall, Johnson. What, what's the situation with those players? Um, they're just on their uh, on their return to game protocol, which means um, you know, they have to get the minutes in training. Um, we're quite stringent on, on that. We, we don't want. You know, uh, our main aim is August the third to have a competitive squad uh, available. So, so within that, uh, there's a, a return to training protocol uh, follow, following injuries and setbacks that, uh, that some of the players have had. Uh, and, uh, and again, yeah, they want to play games. They want to get their movement, but they need to do the, the minutes on the training pitch first of all. So yeah. it's still nice to have the to know you've got those players that are available, yeah. ready to come back in. So no major injury concerns. No, 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 no. They're, they're all field-based training. It's just purely, a, purely a case of uh, tonight's game and uh, Saturday's game. Um, two, two of them may may be available for for 45 minutes, uh, depending on if there's any reaction to training uh, tomorrow or Thursday. 
And obviously, you're still looking to bring in a, a few players. What's what's the latest on, on the transfer news? Right, like again, it's a, the, the recruitment cycle doesn't stop with us. No. Uh, we're, we're still looking short, medium, and long term uh, at uh, areas that we think that we can still improve. I almost asked you about a couple of players, uh, Junior Marais and Billy Waters. They didn't travel to Spain and they weren't involved tonight. I mean, what, what's the situation with those? Are they still part of your plans? Well, the, the, the two players have been made available. Uh, I've had conversations with the players uh, and they've had uh, little, bits of, little bits of interest uh, have been uh, expressed to, to the football club and to the players and to the players' representatives. Um, so uh, they, they've worked extremely well uh, when, they, when they didn't come to Spain. Um, uh, and again, they're continuing to work very well. The, their attitude, uh, they understand the situation whereby if they're able to get a move that suits them, they're able to go and get more game time, uh, and it suits them, suits the football club, and suits me. Uh, then potentially they could they could uh, further their careers elsewhere. If it, it comes to the stage where the window closes and they're still, uh, they'll be fit and available, ready to throw their hat in the ring. Looking ahead to Saturday, Sheffield United. That's another big, big test, isn't it? Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, we're bringing Championship and Premier League clubs down here for the supporters to have a look at the, you know, the divide between Second Division, Championship, and Premier League. But excellent. And again, I think we're extremely grateful to, to both football clubs to come down uh, and put on uh, good performances. There's no concern at all about the result, it's all about fitness and progress heading towards the first day of the season. I think the time for me to start getting stressed is, all, is almost a third. And now it's all about the planning, evaluation, uh, and, put, and putting in place. Um, strategies for, for the players so they get good understanding in possession, out of possession and again that's what a lot of the work has done. We're working on departments, working on compartments, so it's obviously we'd like to have the full complement of players uh, available but you know, some of the work we're doing in training and again that's what I'm still saying, we finished the team, we finished the game today with six players that, that, are, uh, that are products of the, uh, uh, of the youth department at the football club. Great experience for them. Um, you, know, you get Scotty Pollock, the, uh, the man marking role of, uh, of banning it, go, go on and stop him playing. Yeah. There's championship teams that can't stop the lad playing and getting on the ball. Good movement, good understanding, works off his shoulders. And again, but it's great education for our young players. That's a sign that you're still keen to involve them, aren't you, for when the season comes around as well? Yeah, definitely. And again, you know, it's, 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 uh, the, when we train the, the players, the, the younger players, the developing players, they, you know, they're training with us. Um, and again, there's nothing better for the, than them to come out, test themselves, challenge themselves uh, against a very good championship team. And, and again, uh, it won't be any different or much different uh, on Saturday against a friendly. Thank you.